Dear students, today's session we are going to see how to solve a homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients whose right hand side is x power m into y power n. We know that z is a function of x and y. X and y are independent variable. In semester 1, we solve ODE that is y is equal to function of x. Then my RHS would contains only x power m alone. Here, since it is a PDE, we are having x power m into y power n. So, the same thing what we learned in semester 1, we have to recall some formulae. Do you remember this formulae? So, it is very easy to remember. 1 minus x, all power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square, etc. When you get 1 plus x all power minus 1, simply odd powers will be negative and the even powers will be positive. We have to remember like this. When you get 1 minus x whole power minus 2, the same formula 1 x x square x cube etc. If you remember the natural numbers, formula will be very easy to remember. 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. That's it. 1, 2, 3, 4. If it is plus, then we are going to have odd powers minus even power plus. That's it. So, this formula is going to be helpful for us to solve the PI. And hope, students, you remember how you solve the PI. For example, I will take a problem. d square plus 5d plus 6 x square. This is the case of ODE. I am speaking about ODE. Then what we do? We take the highest power outside d square 1 plus 5d plus 6 by d square x square. Then we proceed with this by taking to the numerator, we will be getting 1 by d square power minus 1 x square and using this four formulae, we solve the problem. Now, here in this chapter, in this topic, we have both x power m into y power n. So, in this case, we should be very careful. Let us see if it is x power m into y power n, if m is greater than or equal to n, I can pull d outside. If m is less than n, I can pull d dash outside, then only it is easy to solve the problem. So, if it is x square y, then you can take the highest derivative of d outside from the denominator. If you get x into y cube, then in this case, you should have to pull out the highest derivative of d dash, then only you can able to solve the problem. So, let us go into the problem and we solve one by one. So, these are all some problems which is for your practice. You can take the screenshot and you can practice. We solve few problems from here. Now, let us take a problem. So, this problem, the final solution is going to be CF. Since it has two terms, I am going to split this as PI1 and PI2. One by one, we will solve. So, since it is a homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients, I can take the LHS and I take RHS 0 to find the CF. When I put d equal to m and d dash equal to 1, m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0, it is simply m plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. My roots are repeated and my CF is f1 of y minus x plus x into f2 of y minus x. CF gets over. Now, when you look on into RHS, the power of x is more than power of y. So, I am going to pull the highest derivative of d to find my pi. I can rewrite this as d plus d dash whole square into z. So, it is easy for us to proceed. Our 1 plus x whole power minus 2 formula that is 1 minus 2x plus 3x square etc. Since x square is there, we have to pull out d and very important, we should be careful about the power when you pull out d. So, now it becomes 1 plus d dash by d x square y. When I simplify this, I will be getting 1 plus d dash by d whole square x square y. So, I can take it to the numerator and I put power minus 2 x square y 1 plus d dash by d. You see, I always used to say before fight with your opponent, you have to know the strength and weakness of your opponent. So, we see here the strength x power 2 into y. So, that is why we take d outside. So, let us see the weakness. D dash is in the numerator. Now, let us take what is D dash of x square y. So, D dash means derivative with respect to y 
partially when i differentiate this i will be getting x square next d dash square means it's not whole square two times we have to do differentiate partially with respect to y so when i go answer is zero so that means only the first derivative exist when you go second derivative or higher derivatives it's going to be zero so it is very easy from this hint i can solve the problem in a very easy way now i am going to proceed 1 by d square so we know the formula 1 plus x all power minus 2 1 minus 2x plus 3x square etc so this is going to be 1 plus d dash by d all power minus 2 x square y so i am going to rewrite this as 1 by d square 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 etc x square y this is going to be d dash by d d dash by d whole square d dash by d whole cube since we know d dash of x square y is x square and d dash square of x square y is zero so this indicates that whatever the problem after d square it's going to become zero so only two terms survive that is this two terms will be non zero terms so it is going to be simply 1 by d square 1 minus 2 sorry d dash by d x square y so when you multiply inside 1 by d square x square y minus 2 times d dash of x square y by d now let us proceed 1 by d square x square y we know this value d dash of x square y just now we write it's simply x square by d so 1 by d means you have to integrate with respect to x so i'm going to integrate this with respect to x 1 by d square x square y 2 x cube by 3 now 1 by d square again i am going to integrate once so i am not writing it i am directly integrating it the meaning of this is x square y into dx minus 2 by 3 x cube dx so i don't want to mess up i will simply write the answer directly so 1 by d integration of x square y is x cube y by 3 minus 2 x power 4 by 3 into 4. If you integrate again, you'll be getting x power 4 by 3 into 4. Now this this will get cancel minus x power 5 by 6 into 5. If we simplify this, x power 4 into y by 12 minus x power 5 by 30. So this is my P I 1. Hope you understand how to solve the polynomial kind of problems. Next we are going for PI two, so PI two is very easy. You know all the procedure. If you don't know, you just go and watch type one video from the playlist of transforms and boundary value problems students. So now I can find PI two. So my final solution is z is equal to CF plus PI. This is my final solution, which contains CF plus PI one plus PI two. Next, for your clarity, if suppose i cannot write my problem like this okay then how to solve the problem which is rhs is polynomial so in the previous problem guys we see we reduce this d square plus 2 d d dash d dash square is it as d plus d d dash whole square into z and we crack the problem there are problems which cannot be written in the above form for example we'll take one more problem for your More clarity, and I will solve d square minus seven d d dash plus six d dash square is it is equal to x y. So in this case, I cannot write like this like some a plus b whole square. So in this case, we have to proceed as usual. Time is a concern. I am directly writing C F, but you have to write every procedure. If you don't know, you just go and watch videos on type one. or how to find the complementary function from the transforms and boundary value problem playlist now i'm directly writing the cf so m is equal to 6 and 1 so my cf is going to be f1 of y plus 6x f2 of y plus x okay now we are going to deal with pi d square minus 7 d d dash 6 d dash square so as i said when there is x power m y power n if m greater than or equal to n i can pull d outside the highest derivative if m is less than n then i have to pull d dash so here x into y the power is equal so i am going to pull m that is d dash i am going to pull the highest derivative of d outside that is d square so i'll take d square outside 1 plus minus 7 d d dash plus 6 d dash square by d square into 
x y i'll simplify this d square 1 i can take this minus outside when i divide i'll be getting 7 d dash by d minus 6 d dash square by d square so this will be more convenient for me to solve the problem so now i will rewrite this as 1 minus 7 d dash by d minus 6 d dash square by d square all power minus 1 x y so as i said before solving the problem we have to know the weakness of the problem d dash of x y is going to be simply x and d dash square of x y is going to be 0 so i am going to take 1 by d square and when i apply the formula do you remember 1 minus x all power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square x cube etc when i apply this 1 plus 7 d dash by d minus minus 6 d dash square by d square plus 7 by d dash by d plus 7 d dash by d minus 6 d dash square by d square all square etc it goes on x y so now we have to analyze if we take this term when you square it I'm going to get minimum d dash square, maximum here d dash power 4, the middle term is d dash q. But after d dash square, everything is going to be 0. So simply, I can say all the terms are going to get 0 after this. So only 1 by d square, 1 plus 7 d dash by d, even this term will get 0 because of this. So only these two terms exist. So I can proceed further. 1 by d square. When I multiply, I'll be getting xy. 7 d dash of xy by d. That is 1 by d square. xy. 7 d dash of xy is simply x by d. Now we have to proceed with integration. As we said in the previous problem, I'm directly integrating this. 7 x square by 2. Now proceeding the integration. Again, I'm integrating. I'll be getting x square y by 2, 7 x cube by 3 into 2. So now again applying integration, I'll be getting x cube y by 3 into 2 plus 7 times x power 4 by 3 into 2 into 4. So now when I simplify this, I'll get the final solution. So simply I can write my pi is going to be x cube y by 6 plus 7 x power 4 by 24. If you want, you can simplify. Further, I'll take this x cube outside and 24 in common will be getting 4y plus 7a. So z is equal to cf plus pi. So f1 of y plus 6x, f2 of y plus x and my pi is x cube by 24. 4 4y plus 7x. Hope you got a clear idea to solve the problem on the polynomials. Now you can try this problem for your practice. d square 3d d dash plus 2d dash square into z is equal to x plus y. So since it is x plus y, the power of x and power of y is same. I can take highest derivative of d outside. You can proceed and you will be getting the solution f1 of y minus x, f2 of y minus 2x, then x square by 6, 3y minus 2x. So thanks for your patience when watching the video students. Kindly subscribe and share to your friends. Let everybody get benefit. So we'll see in the next video with the other concept. Thank you.